Hello guys, Salman Nasim here. Welcome to second tutorial of Character Creator series. Today we will learn the one of most powerful character creator within Blender. We don't need any software or add-on installation for that. Above all, it's absolutely free. Hope you got my point. Today we will discover different aspects of Cookie Flex Rig, how to use it in Blender 2.8, how to import it and many other things. So without wasting further time, let's get started. Okay, you can download Cookie Flex Rig from blendswap.com and here is the license information of Cookie Flex Rig on cgcookie.com. I'll put the both link in the description. Once you open the file, something like that will be appear on your screen. You will have to allow the execution. On the left side, we have some information related to Cookie Flex Rig. On the right side, we have Magical Rig. So let's check how to use it. I'll put one on an numpad and go to front view. First of all, once we execute that script, we have another menu related to Cookie Flex Rig. We can click it and we have the control for the rigs and many things more will discover it in today's, tut to today's tutorial. If I click here and go to items, uncheck the properties. We have all the properties related to the body of our character. Like I can, I can adjust the belly or I can adjust the clothes from here or I can adjust the height and many thing more secondly if i click here on a vector face we have many control for our character face to check i'll zoom in a little bit to have the better view uh, we can start checking it with skull we can change the hairs from here and the eye size and anything you want and anything you want lastly we have circles here once I click that, we have variety of things related to clothes and hairs and we have variety of controls related to the colors of our character. Like if I adjust these colors, you can see the change within the clothes of our character. Another thing, if we select the body from here and go to object data properties, we have many pre-made character which comes by default. Like I can select this Joe to appear it on a screen. We'll have to click on that button. So, so the Joe will be appear with the same properties we have changed. And there, there are many more characters like I can bring Bob by clicking here. Let's go to Miss tab. We have control of all rigs here. Like we can enable face rig from here. Once we enable that, we have many control related to our character face. I can I can animate it accordingly. We have tweaks which give us the extra control within our character face. We have fingers. Once we enable that, we have uh, extra extra bones for the fingers, and we can use it for any purpose. And we can animate it as much as we want. Last, we have fin finger tweaks. Once we enable that, we have uh, three bones within every fingers, so we can bend the fingers naturally. And we have arms, legs, FK and IK controls. We can according we can enable it according to our needs. And lastly, we will check this button. So that will bring three extra bones within within the just within the character within the body of, of our character. We can tweak it according to our need. So I'll go uh, so I'll go back to items select the body from the vector image and change a little bit within our character like i'll adjust the height a little bit something but something like that so once it's finalized what i'll have to do i'll have to save the file first i'll click on file save as and save the file as as the character name To import the character, I have already made the very simple environment to have the better understanding. There is a little trick involved to bring the character within our environment, but it's a very simple one. You can understand it very easily. Normally, we import the character by clicking on append key, but for the cookie flex, we will have to import it by linking our character. That means we can delete the source file of our character that will directly link within our plant file. I'll click on the link. Go to navigate to the directory which saves our character. Click on link. 
it will open the it, it will open the blend file will go to the collection will have you import only one collection named cookie flux if you want to bring your character in a low resolution you can import th that also i'll select that and click on link so that will bring my character here. currently it won't have any rig or any menu to work with uh, flex rig so to bring that i'll just first click f3 from my keyboard and write down the proxy and click on make proxy in such a rig that will bring our rig back so i'll select the rig and click on pause mode and i can use the rig i can use the rig but still we won't have miss menu from here to bring that we'll first go to scripting we'll go to script here and click new here to import the script from from that file to import we'll go to link go to link here this time we'll go to text this time we'll go to the text folder and import that script from here once we import it we'll select from here and click on run that will bring our miss menu from here and i can adjust anything which i want now we have full control of our character so now we have one character here let's bring another one from the flex rig uh, i have reset i have resetted this character now we'll import the second character with the same way like first we'll have to save save as and name our character now we'll go to the environment file where we have we already have one character we'll go to files link and cookie flex rig we'll we'll navigate we'll navigate to we'll navigate to the directory we have saved the character and go to collection and import cookie flex rig that will bring our character and again we'll have to press f3 make proxy such rig here that will bring the rig of our character but currently it's not working fine we'll have to run the script to run the script we'll go to link again and link this time we'll go to the text folder and import that script and we'll have to run the script from here now we'll have full control of both characters we can check it by going to pause mode and bring it here before closing i'll animate it a little bit by clicking on auto keying key to have the keyframes on all the characters uh, characters bones i'll adjust it a little bit something like that and we have the keyframe here now i'll go to 20 and adjust it more change it more now if i drag our cursor here you can see we have the animation okay that's all for today's tutorial don't forget to subscribe being animator channel see you in the next video